Boom! What's up, everybody? It's Thursday. I know we're a day late. I apologize. But before we get into the picks today, let me just tell you guys something. Do not watch the game tonight. We got the Commanders versus the Bears. It's Thursday night football. Cancel Amazon Prime. It may make your wives upset. It may make your girlfriends upset because you're going to lose next day delivery. But get rid of it because tonight's game, I'm going to tell you right now, is going to be as bad as my team last week. It's going to be atrocious. I can't even get a dishwasher. I can just barely get a set of oven mitts for my team. So cancel Amazon Prime. Do not watch the game tonight. If you're looking for something to do that's going to be highly more entertaining than that, Drive down to Southwest Randolph. We got a volleyball game tonight. You're already charter versus Southwest. Huge rivalry game. It will be much more entertaining than that. So do not waste your time on Thursday night football. Watch something pre-recorded. Matter of fact, Impact Wrestling's on tonight. New Japan Wrestling's on tonight. Uh, I've got some shows taped, but do not, I repeat, do not watch Thursday night football. I'm trying to save you a headache. Uh, we can all fly down to wherever Josh is. We can climb in a hot tub with him. But do not watch Thursday night football. That is a message from the boom, woo, boom room. All right, we got some games this week. First game we got, let me go to my little notepad here as I wrote some stuff down. I got me, God's favorite champion. We're going against Team Hardware. Look, to be honest, nobody cares about this game. My team is atrocious. Uh, I got Joe Burrow. He shows up when he wants to. T. Higgins got hurt. Christian Kurt, who knows what happened. Curtis Samuel shows up every now and then. Uh, Zeke and Pollard. Here, here's what I know. Whoever I start, the other one's going to score. And so I really have zero chance of winning this game. It is by far my worst appearance in the fantasy football league. So I apologize for that. Um, Gino for hardware. Eckler's been playing good. McCaffrey's been playing good. <clears throat> but like I said, no one cares. And matter of fact, I really don't care about team hardware no more. I've tried to make some trades with them. Uh, I am now calling his uh, team Team Vaseline because in order to get a trade done with him, you need Vaseline and some great foreplay because that's the only way you can get anything done with him. So my pick this week, unfortunately, is going to be Team Hardware. <clears throat> Somehow, if I do squeak out a win, I will laugh all weekend long. But Team Hardware picks up the win. Then we got the Booty Thieves, 3-2, and two, sitting against King John. The, man, this guy is just rolling. Uh, Booty, I think Aaron Rodgers is going to play well. Kamar. Sanders, not so much. I think it's a little bit of a rough day. John just picked up ETN for a washing machine. I, I, I trade still blows my mind. Thanks a lot, Joe. Uh, greatly appreciate that. You send uh, him to John. You know, let's don't make the elite more elite. But what you do, John, you made him more elite. So with that, picking up that with John, everything he's got, he's just too loaded. As much as I want to pull for the booty, booty thieves this week, just not happening. King John stays undefeated. Then we got the Freak Show. We got Joe's guys. Uh, Mahomes, Smith, Waddle, great core. Two young wide receivers, great quarterback. Joe, I think Hurts is going to struggle because whoever you always pick up at quarterback, it seems like it's just the end. Something bad is going to happen. You know their career is over when either me or you pick them up, Joe. So Jalen Hurts is going to have a bad week. Your running backs, you got Uno, Eno, Uno, Capiculio, Benjamin, who? Eno, whoever that is, right? And you got Melvin Gordon, they're going to struggle. Believe it or not, Kenny, the freak show, <clears throat> my man, picking up another win this week. Congratulations. Which takes us to Tsunami versus the Archangels. Uh, Josh Allen will destroy Mariota when it comes to points. Just going to happen. Barkley and Wilson, I will take them over Aaron Jones and uh, Mostert. I mean, Mostert's father time. This dude is 103 years old and is still running the ball. I, I, like, I mean, he is the reincarnation of Frank Gore. That's who you have. Uh, Tsunami, your wide receivers are good. Mike, I know you said the other day you hate fantasy football. I'm with you, bro. I hate it just as much as you do. Hey, but this Saturday, go Vols. Go Vols, baby. But other than that, Tsunami, 
keeps on rolling. The Barkley curse has been lifted. And Josh, while on vacation, down on your anniversary, you pick up another win. And then we go to Bucko Bruce versus Toy Soldiers. We got Brady, Fournette, Mike Evans uh, against Pittsburgh. I see big day. I see a huge day for those guys. Toy, Stevenson, Cook, playing great right now. Just not enough. Bucko Bruce. Another win in the column of that man. Toy Soldiers, Ed. I hate it. I love you, Ed. You just don't pick up a win. Which leads us to the game of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Bolts versus the real Slim Shady. Bolts, three and two, which blows my mind. Unbelievable. Slim Shady, three and two. Quarterback battle, kind of even. Let me actually look this up right quick. I'll go in a little in depth. Herbert versus Matt Stafford. I, I know Stafford has been bad, but here's the great thing. You're playing Carolina. Their offense can't pick up but five yards a game. So Stafford should be on the field a lot throwing to Cooper Cup. So I kind of see right there, quarterbacks are kind of even. Running backs, Brees Hall, Montgomery versus Kenny Walker versus Nick Chubb. Wow. Still a little even, but... Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Brown versus McLaurin, Hill, and Davis. Got to give the edge to Bolts right there. Then tight ends, you got Najoku, who's been playing great. Hurst, who's been playing good. But I still got to give the edge to the Bolts. And with that being said, the Bolts go to 4-2. and two. Slim Shady falls to 3-3. Three and three. Guys, that are the picks of the week. Sorry it's a little early, but hey, I tried to play golf yesterday. Just was not in the cards. Some rain fell. But hey, I always remember, fellas, it's always about that boom. Archangels and the Freak Show. Uh, I mean, you look at it here, looking at those Freak Show, you got Patrick Mahomes. He's doing his thing. Archangels got Derek Carr. Running backs, you got to go with Archangels, Aaron Jones, Derrick Henry over uh, Tyler and Michael Carter. Uh, wide receivers are close, but with Tua being out, really going to hurt Jalen Waddle. Uh, Metcalf really hasn't done his thing this year. I mean, I know they got a Geno at quarterback. Devontae Smith, big day. Drake London, uh, not so much a big day. They're playing uh, Tampa Bay. With all that being said, I've got the Archangels going to – Two and three, and the Freak Show fall into two and three. That brings us to the game of the week. We got Bucko. We got Team Hardware. Bucko, two and two. Hardware, one and three. Bucko, 159. Hardware, 155. Look, as much as I want to say Hardware is going to get this one, I think Geno Smith comes back to earth. I think Eckler and McCaffrey, I think they got some bad matchups. Bucko, you have Brady, Fournette, Mike Evans playing Atlanta. Atlanta. They should score 60 points. And with that being said, I've got to give my man Bucko the win to go to 3-2. and two. I've got hardware, unfortunately, falling to 1-4. and four. Those are the picks of the week. Thank you for tuning in to Jams. <laughs> Woo! Boom, boom, room. Ed, I'm going to look at what you sent me, my man. Hey, peace out. Have a great week. I'll talk to you guys next week.